All right, we have something very special we're doing today. My man, Victor, big-time listener of Zaslow Show 2.0. I appreciate that. Apparently, long-time listener of Zaslow Show, Zaslow and Joy, Zaslow and Roms and Amber, Zaslow and Amber. I can't name all the different iterations of Zaslow Show. I'll be sitting here forever. The fact of the matter is, Victor's a big fan of Zaslow Show 2.0 right now, and that's obviously a really great thing. And so Victor reached out and said, Zaslow, would you be interested in choosing our fantasy football draft order? And of course, with much thought and deliberation, I decided, fuck yeah, I want to do the draft order. I love that kind of shit. Let's do it. All right. So this is a very special day where I'm going to pick the draft order for Victor's League. Now, there's no bias here. I don't know any of these fools. I just know the team names. I know the first name of the general manager of the team, and that's it. So I'm really just picking the order all willy-nilly here. Nobody's allowed to get upset, and my ruling is final. So it's a 12-team league, apparently. Snake draft order. Not that any of that matters. I'm still doing it randomly. All right, so here we go. Now, we're going to count down from 12 to 1. We want to do it for dramatic purposes, all right? So first, I give out number 12, and then we're going to work our way all the way down to 1. That's how sequential order works. All right, here we go, everybody. I know you're very, very nervous. Number 12. This team is run by Mike because Boca Raton. That's right. That's obviously huge Levitard show fans. Everyone in this league, clearly. And that's obviously a take on because Miami. So because Boca Raton has the number 12 overall pick, and you're saying like, oh, that pick sucks. I don't think that pick sucks. I always like having at the end of the first round, and then you get the back-to-back picks, and you always get the double picks. I kind of dig that. So because Boca Raton has the 12th overall pick, the 11th overall pick goes to the Giant Infant. That's Frank's team, all right? I guess Frank's a huge baby. I don't know what you want to do about that. The Giant Infant, they're going to select number 11 overall. Number 10 is... Dookie bombing it. That's Noah's team. I'm not really sure what Dookie bombing it means. I, I, I mean, does that mean you, you, you're a fan of Duke football? That would be lousy if you are. Are you even worse? Are you a fan of Duke basketball? I mean, fuck them kids, man. All of them think it's their birthright to win every single basketball game. I'm not really sure what Dookie bombing it means, but here, number 10. Number nine goes to Los Afiladores. That's Jarrett's team. Number eight. All right. You guys know I got major beef with this guy. And that's why I put this team kind of in a slot at number eight where it's like, you're kind of stuck in no man's land in the middle of the first round there. And that's Dwayne's team, Greg Cody show killers. I got major beef with Greg Cody. You don't trade Marino. That's what you're known for. So number eight is Greg Cody, show killers. Good luck with that. Number seven, this goes to uniquely not Miamian. That's Scott's team. I'm 305 till I die. If you're uniquely not Miamian, you're getting stuck right in the middle of the round, also in no man's land. Number six belongs to Seth's superb team. It is owned by Seth. Seth's superb team. Seth. You couldn't come up with a better name than Seth's superb team. You're lucky I didn't dock you a first round draft pick. Number five, across decades. That's right. A. A. Ron has the fifth overall pick. That is across decades. Now we're getting down to it. Because now the four teams that are remaining, you're all thinking to yourself, okay, I'm getting a really good player, but maybe I'm getting number one, which of course means you're getting Christian McCaffrey, I assume. Don't be stupid. Don't overthink it, all right? Don't get cute. Number four, the grief eaters. That goes to Brian. I feel bad for Brian if he's a grief eater. That sounds like he's a little bit of a heavy guy. So we'll give him the fourth overall pick. We're not going to reward him too much for being a heavy guy but we'll give him the fourth overall pick. You're guaranteed to get a really good wide receiver. Number three, this pick belongs to Brian. 
Brian astounding team. I mean, you're lucky I didn't lump you right there with Seth. Seth's superb team. Brian astounding team. Maybe I feel bad. It's such a bad team name. I'm giving you a number three. You're lucky. You're lucky. Number two. We're down to two teams. This is very, very exciting. You're very nervous. It's okay. Everybody calm down. Number two. Stouffer's Stove Top Pussy. I mean, take it easy, Victor. Uh, that is, what, what, what does that name even mean? Stouffer's Stove Top Pussy. Victor has the number two overall pick, which means that Crime Mob Ho, Nick, has the number one overall pick in your fantasy draft. That's a good team name. I don't necessarily know what it means. It sounds like the mafia is running a train on you, Nick, if you're the crime mob ho. But nonetheless, I like that team name. So there you have it. I hope you guys have a great fantasy football season. Hope you have a fun draft. That's how it's done.